All right, guys, let's talk 30 series graphics cards. Um, you may have noticed, first things first, new camera. How do I look? 60 FPS, 1080p, way better than the webcam, am I right? But hey, we're not here to talk about all this. We're here to talk about the 30 series cards and specifically the Xbox, but don't worry, Sony, we'll touch on your box too. So the Xbox Series X, we assume $500, but it could be more, could be less. I would be blown out of my mind if I if it was less, but I, where we assume about $500. RTX 3070, $500. It's looking kind of iffy, you know? Uh, I don't know. Is there a reason to buy an Xbox? Like, at all? Is there one single reason to buy an Xbox? If you can name one, I would be very grateful to you because I've been looking for an excuse to buy an Xbox and like the only thing I can come up with is original Xbox backwards compatibility. That is like the one thing that I'm kind of interested in. I have a, I have an Xbox One X, not a Series X, but a One X. And then I was like, cool, I can use it for backwards compatibility, have it like a media box connected to my TV, don't have to worry about my PC too much. And then they're like, hey, we're, we're gonna just stop. We're not making backwards compatible games anymore. So what you have is just that's that's it. Series X is gonna get more backwards compatible games, but no more backwards compatible games on the Xbox One. So I was like, okay, okay, that's fine. What they have on there is like kind of cool, but like hopefully like more games. Series X gets like the games I want, like Jet Set Radio Future would be dope. But like, is Jet Set Radio Future worth $500? I don't know. If they announce it, I'll, I'll be real. If they announce Jet Set Radio Future is coming to Series X, I'll buy one. I will buy one. But for the regular sane people out there who don't do that, because they're not crazy, is there a reason to buy an Xbox over an RTX card? I don't think there is. Let's talk about why. First, first things first, the elephant in the room. Xbox, Microsoft specifically, releases all of their games on PC. Steam, specifically, day one with the Xbox. Some games come to Steam before Xbox. Flight Simulator is out right now on PC. You cannot play that on Xbox. That is a Microsoft game you can't play on Xbox yet. May we don't know. Gears Tactics also, same thing, came out early on PC. You had to wait two months or whatever. I forget the release date, but you had to wait a couple months for the Xbox version. All the other third-party games that are on Steam that are not on Xbox, backwards compatible or otherwise, there's thousands, I would wager tens of thousands of games on Steam that are not on Xbox. And if they are on Xbox, they're still going to run better on PC. I can't think of a reason to get an Xbox over a 3070. I, if you have the money, to, to upgrade this this generation, right? If you're already planning on getting a Series X, if you already have a PC, there's literally no reason. Like, there's no excuse. You have a PC that's working right now, all you need to do is buy a, a 3070 and just swap the cards out and you have a, a, a system at least a little under double uh, the, the power of a Series X. And that's not even counting other cards, or not cards, but like other uh, parts and systems components you might have already they're going to be outperform what the Xbox has. Just $500 by itself. But if you don't have a PC, yeah, it's going to be a little more. A little more. You're looking like maybe $800 to put a rig together with a 3070. Maybe you want to go the extra mile, go even $1,000. $1,000 for a system that's going to shit all over next gen consoles, right? That's worth it, in my opinion. In my opinion. But, you know, maybe you, just, you can't spend that premium. I understand. Maybe you wait a little bit, the 3060 is going to come out, and that thing is going to be like, what, maybe 300 bucks? You can put together a killer rig at like $600 with a 3060, you know, just wait a little bit till that comes out and gets announced. That'll outperform the Series X, have all the same games, etc, 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 same things we talked about. But you're saying, you know what, I like the ease of consoles. That's fine. You can like the ease of consoles. You want to play on your TV? Be my guest. I can play on my TV with my, with my PCs, but... Still, ease of use, that's one point for a console. It is definitely plug and play. You know what else is plug and play? A PC that's already put together, 
have someone build it for you, get a pre-built even. Actually, don't don't get a pre-built. I can't even say that with a straight face. Don't get a pre-built. Um, have someone build it for you if you can't do it yourself, or just learn how to do it. YouTube videos, Linus Tech Tips. That's, that's all I can really say. But even then, even then, that's not even the final point. Because Microsoft, in their benevolence, bene benevolence, benevolence, Microsoft and their generosity has decided they're going to charge more for Xbox Live again. What used to be $60 a year is now significantly more. Game Pass is more on Xbox. Xbox Live is a, is a paywall you don't have on PC. So you're paying more for Game Pass, you're paying more for games, you're paying for online. You don't need any of those things on PC. And if you do want Game Pass, it's $5. It's not 10 like it is on console, it's 5 and of course, they're always running those like $1 deals all the time. You can legitimately survive for like $12 for get a, to get a full Game Pass year. I got mine for 30 because I'm not as smart as other people, but even 30 bucks for Game Pass, that's a steal. There's so many, so many different things getting in your way. There's no VR on Xbox. There's no, I mean, <laughs> Even when you just compare it to Sony's console, right? Like, yes, Sony games are coming to PC. We don't know the details on that, though, so, you know, it could still be years out, right? So there is still a reason to get that box. You have those exclusive games that are still gonna be exclusive, at least temporarily. You have the new controller, the DualSense, which is gonna also work on PC with all its new features. Series X doesn't get a new controller, they just get the same controller with one new button. There's, like, so many things. Like, I can recommend getting a Switch in 2020. I can recommend getting a PS5 in 2020, but there's literally zero reason that I can recommend getting an Xbox in 2020, and that is sad and hilarious, but mostly sad. And I have, it's hard to see because my camera kind of cuts off right at the perfect time, but right there, that whole shelf is dedicated to Xbox. I have Xbox One games here. I sold most of them because why? Uh, Xbox 360 games, Xbox original games, I have my Xbox original down there and one plugged in over there. Like, I have a bunch of Xbox stuff. I love Xbox. I grew up with it. It's the first console I ever played. Halo CE, first game I ever played. But, in 2020, Microsoft is just a PC developer now. That's how I see them. That's how the majority of people see them. There's no reason, there is no reason if you have a PC to get an Xbox. And I know people who have PCs and they see the 3070 and they get very, very defensive. And that's, that's kind of a dangerous, dangerous little route you're going there, man. Like, like smooth. Uh, yeah. Get, get, get a 3070. Get a 3070. Be happy. Have a better experience. Don't don't fanboy over plastic. As, as much guff as I give, and as much as I like to play around, I don't give a shit about these companies. I, I I'm gonna criticize Sony and Nintendo just as much as I criticize Microsoft. They just don't give me as many reasons to. Though Nintendo, we're gonna have a talk real soon here. Um, don't think I didn't see what you did to that Mario collection. Fucking looking at you right there, D Nintendo. I'm looking at you right now. Don't pull that shit again. But that's going to be it for me for today anyways. Let me know how you guys like the new camera. This is Cameras are expensive, guys. So I definitely went a little all out for you. So I could get that. Oh, and oh. First look. First look. New stream setup. I mean, isn't this pretty sick? I. This is nice. Matt, Matt made it for me. And I, I... Money well spent is all I got to say. But, um... Yeah. That's gonna be it again for me. So have a good one, play some games, stay classy, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.